Ripple, the XRP community, and the entire state of crypto could potentially be in trouble. As most of you know, in the Ripple versus SEC case, Judge Torres ruled that Ripple sold on the secondary market, also known as a programmatic sale, is not classified as a security under Howie. But there is an opposing judge who says differently. And from some of our public sources, crypto attorneys, they've indicated that this judge could pose a problem for the entire crypto industry. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to smash a like, share this video, and of course, subscribe. Also, welcome back to The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. Let's go ahead and get into the best unbiased XRP news out there and how this new judge could potentially slam the entire crypto industry in the United States of America. Judge Rakoff disagreed with Judge Torres's Ripple decision, and this is from Meta Law Man. Judge Rakoff, I believe, is also handling the Terra Luna collapse case. According to sources, Judge Rakoff is from the New York Southern District, and he has also been very problematic while in court basically taking what other judges are saying and completely doing a 180 and just not agreeing with them. Some people say he's problematic. Other people say, you know, he's got his own point of view. I personally think he's problematic and I wouldn't put it past anybody to go after crypto, especially considering how atrocious the SEC current stance is on crypto and the same with the current administration. This is where it starts to get a little bit worrisome, but also industry. From John Reed Stark, he was a former person over at the SEC. So let's take it with a grain of salt. Um, Southern District New York District Judge Jed Rakoff today allowed the SEC to go forward with its case against Terraform Labs and founder Do Kwan. In doing so, Judge Rakoff specifically rejected the distinction made in the Ripple case between public and institutional sales. Okay. Let's take a step back before we get too terribly excited. With the Ripple case, when we're talking about XRP not being a security, Judge Torres indicated that Ripple is not a sale, or if Ripple is sold on the secondary market, ah, if XRP is sold on the secondary market and other crypto assets are sold on the secondary market, kind of alluding to that, then they're not securities. Because basically, you're going by Howie and you're looking at from an investment contract standpoint and that wasn't necessarily an investment contract. When you take an asset, you list it somewhere else and you make money selling it or you lose money selling it. Nowhere, any shape or form, did Coinbase or any of these other crypto, crypto asset exchange companies say that if you buy this asset, you're going to make money. And that's kind of what constitutes an investment contract, okay? Also too, from Meta Law Man, this is what he points out, the difference between Terraform, UST, and XRP and other crypto assets. Judge Rakoff ruled that the sale of UST stablecoins were investment contracts because they were purchased with the exception of profits, because UST could be converted to Luna coins and UST could be staked on the Anchor protocol and generate yield. Under this reasoning, any medium of exchange could be an investment contract because it could be traded for something else that might generate profit. Not logical in my opinion. And this makes 100% sense to me because with UST, you take that stable coin or you were able to, you were able to put it on a crypto asset exchange and generate yield. That yield could potentially be indicated as a security or an investment contract, depending how it's done. But again, the problem that we're facing is the SEC has failed to do its job. They have failed to indicate indicate any type of guidelines for us. They can't tell us what is a security and what isn't a security. So now we have this massive problem in the crypto industry, even though XRP had this big win that it's not a sale on the secondary or it's not a security on the secondary market, judges may agree, disagree with that. And the SEC really needs to do its job, but more importantly, Congress needs to step in. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Wendy O is out. Bye-bye.